एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल शिव राइजिंग स्टार अकेडमी सो लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने सॉलिड सिलेंडर के ऊपर कुछ एग्जांपल सॉल्व किए थे तो इस लेक्चर में हम स्पेरिकल शेयर के ऊपर कुछ एग्जांपल सॉल्व करते हैं इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन टू अंसेंट्रिक स्पेरिकल शेल तो हमारा क्वेश्चन है फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू अंसेंट्रिक स्पेरिकल शेल ऑफ चार्ज डेंसिटी रो इज इक्वल टू ए बाय आर स्क्वेर वेन आर इज इन बिटवीन आर वन एंड आर टू सो हमारे पास एक स्पेरिकल शेल है जिसकी इनर रेडियस आर वन है आउटर रेडियस आर टू है और जो चार्ज डेंसिटी रो है वो ए बाय आर स्क्वेर इन बिटवीन आर वन एंड आर टू अप टू दिस दिस इज आर वन एंड अप टू दिस दिस इज आर टू जो इसके बीच जो चार्ज डेंसिटी है वो ए बाय आर स्क्वायर है इन दोनों सरफेस के बीच जो चार्ज डेंसिटी है दिस एरिया के इन दिस एरिया जो चार्ज डेंसिटी है वो ए बाय आर स्क्वायर है एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट द पॉइंट व्हेन आर इज लेस देन आर वन एट द पॉइंट आर is in between r1 and r2 and at the point r is greater than r2 so first find the electric field when r is less than r1 so the point is less than this r1 so we consider this point here okay For finding the electric field, we have to apply the Gauss law, and for that, first we have to draw the Gaussian surface. So we draw the Gaussian surface on this point. Okay. Suppose this distance or this radius of this surface, Gaussian surface, is small r. and we have to find the electric field at this point so we know that the integral form of the gauss law close integral e bar dot ds bar is equal to q in close by epsilon bar so here here is the conductor and inside the conductor charge q is zero that's why when The, at the point r is less than r one, the electric field E bar is zero. Okay, यहाँ पे वो conductor है और इसकी वजह से inside the conductor क्या होता है charge zero होता है charge reside on the surface of the conductor. Inside the conductor charge is zero. That's why here electric field When R or at a point R is less than R one is zero. Second condition is that it is condition B. R is in between R one and R two. So. This is R one. This is R two. Okay. So the point is in between R one and R two. Suppose we consider the this point. You have to find the electric field at this point. So first we draw the Gaussian surface for that. Suppose this distance is small r, so we have to find the electric field at this point. Okay, this distance is small r. So we know that the integral form of the Gauss law, close integral e bar dot d s bar is equal to q in close by epsilon r. So and we know that the charge density rho Is equal to dQ by dV. So when we have to find the charge, this dQ is equal to rho into dV. So when we integrate this 
q is equal to close integral rho dv. So, dv for this pair, that is volume element for this pair is r square dr sin theta d theta and d phi. So, here Q is equal to and what is the value of rho is a by r square. It is a by r square r square dr sin theta d theta and d phi. So here Q in close is equal to this a is constant so we take it outside this r square r square will cancel so Integral dr, integral sin theta, d theta and integral d phi. So here, the limit for r is, this is the, okay, up to this, this is r1 and this is small r. So, our charge density is present in this two area. So for that Gaussian surface, charge density, suppose this is R1 and this is R, up to this, this is R. So charge density is present in, in this area. So we have to take this limit. So for that R1 to R, so the limit of this is R1 to R, this is 0 to pi and this is 0 to 2 pi. So for that A into this is R R1 to R and the integration of 0 to pi sin theta t theta is when we calculate it, it is 2. Okay. The integration of sin theta is minus cos theta and when we put this limit 0 to pi, we will get this value 2. Okay. And the integration of is d phi is phi. And when we put this value, that is 2 pi. So it becomes a into put this upper and lower limit, that is r minus r1. This is 4 pi. So this is our charge. Q enclose is equal to a r minus r1 for pi. So I have to find the electric field. So here electric field is the constant. So we will take it outside e bar and ds. Integration ds bar is equal to what is the value of q? Q is the A R minus R1 4 pi. So here DS. DS is the area of the Gaussian surface. So up to this, this is the Gaussian surface and this is Gaussian surface is square. So area of the square is 4 pi R square. So this is E bar 4 pi R square. Okay. Because this small r is the radius of this Gaussian surface. So we take this small r is equal to a into r minus r1 4 pi. So we have to find the electric field. It is e bar is equal to a to r minus r1 4 pi upon what is this 4 pi r square. So here 4 pi, 4 pi get cancelled. This is a that is r by r square minus r1 by r square. Or we can write it as a square sorry e bar is equal to a r minus r1 by 
r square this is the electric field when point is in between r1 and r2 sorry one thing is remaining we have to take this epsilon naught so this is epsilon naught here this is epsilon naught here okay this is epsilon naught that is electric field when point is between r1 and r2 is a into r minus r1 upon epsilon naught r square this is the electric field that is third condition is when r is greater than r2 so when the point is greater than r2 so this is r2 and the point is greater than r2 so this is outside so we have suppose this is the point and we have to find the electric field at this point so first of all we draw the gaussian surface here yeah? This is our Gaussian surface, and the distance. Suppose this distance is r, and we have to calculate electric field at this point. So we know that the integral form of the Gauss law is e bar naught d s bar is equal to q enclosed by epsilon naught, and also we know that that rho is equal to d q by t v. It is d q is equal to rho into d v. So q is equal to when we integrate this q enclosed is equal to integral rho d v. And we have to give the value of rho is integral a by r square. And d v for this pair is our Gaussian surface is the sphere. Remember this is the spherical shell. For that. The volume element is r square d r sine theta d theta and d phi. So here q enclosed is equal to integral a by this r square r square get cancelled d r sine theta d theta d phi. So q is equal to this a is constant. So we will take it outside. It is dr. This is sine theta, d theta, and this is d phi. So limit of this is our charge density is present in between r1 and r2. So this is our r1. This is up to this. This is our r2. So charge density is present in this two between these two regions. Okay. Okay. Between this. So we have to take this limit because outside this there is no charge density. So we will take this limit. So this is R one to R two. This is zero to pi, and this is zero to two pi. So the value of charge Q enclosed is equal to A. This is R. It is limit for this is R one to R two. Integration of this is Sin theta is minus cos theta, and this is zero to pi. When we put this limit, we will get this value two. This is phi. Integration of this, this d phi is phi, and this is when we put the value this limit, we will get this two pi. So a into r two minus r one into four pi. So this is the value of q. in close so we have to find the electric field so electric field is constant everywhere so we'll take it outside this is enclosed integral ds bar and this ds bar is always the area of the gaussian surface so gaussian our gaussian surface is the sphere so this is 4 pi and r r is the radius of the gaussian surface that is the 
small r that is r square is equal to q in close by epsilon naught. So what is the value of q is a r2 minus r1 4 pi. So by epsilon naught and we had to find the electric field. So E bar is equal to A R2 minus R1 4 pi by this is 4 pi R square epsilon naught. So this 4 pi 4 pi get cancel. So what is the value of electric field? That is A R2 minus R1 which is R square epsilon naught. So this is the value of electric field when the point is greater than R2.